What's up guys? Before we get started with this week's video, a uh, little intro. If this video that you're watching right now gets 200 likes, every person that leaves a comment in the comment section will be entered to win a prize. 200 likes on this video, so stop, put a thumbs up on the video right now, and if it breaks that 200 like threshold, I'll be giving away either a G.I. Joe bat or an AEW sting to someone in the comment section. Make sure to leave a comment because every comment's gonna go on the wheel. One entry per person, we'll do an elimination wheel. Last person standing gets to choose. No memberships, nothing involved. Just comment and help me get this video past 200 likes. Let's go. All right, guys, we're here in Everett, Pennsylvania. We're going to hit the country Walmart over here. It's really windy outside, so we're cutting the promo in the car. Last time I was here, we we found AEW cards. We found a great clearance section. We found G.I. Joe. We found a lot of cool stuff. So I'm going to go back in and see if we can't find any of that stuff again. I'd love to get some more AEW cards. I'd love to maybe pick up a couple more Joes. We're going to go in. We're going to see what we can find. Everett, PA, be good to us. Thank gods. Bless upon me some goodness. I'll see you guys inside. Man, strike one. They have an absolutely incredible card section here. Everything you could ever want from a sports card and Pokemon card section, except for AEW. None. They had three blasters WWE, no AEW. I asked the cashier working, and she said they haven't had any at all since they initially got them a month ago, which is when I was last here and bought them all. All right, let's hope for some toys. Dropping in here real quick. What do we got? We have got a bunch of Splinter Shredders and Oroku Sakis. Got our Xenomorphs, got our My Hero, got our Taskmaster Gallery, got our Dazzler Gallery or Weapon X Gallery. Do you have a big Mikey box damage? Oh yeah, there's box damage. $22 for you out of box guys. Over here in Funko Pop World, got a bunch of What If Pops, got some really loud music behind me. There's a dark side up there. Some Jeff Gordons. You have Sub-Zero for $15 and Helen Ripley for $20. That's pretty decent. I don't hate that at all. And uh, that looks like it. Honestly, there's a bunch of Boba Fetts on the throne. Um, let's go over to figure section because there's nothing here that I want it looks like. I'll see you guys over there. They still have this clearance section up. Let's see if any of those figures are even cheaper than last time. It's been about a month, so maybe. $9 for Iron Man. We got these Digimon Digivices for $13. I might actually buy one of these. This is kind of cool. I dig these. We might get one. Got our LOL dolls. Got our Lego sets for $40. Don't see any action figures. The section's been decimated. Let's see what's over here. Bunch more clearance Legos. We got Mario. Got Minecraft marked down to $16. It's pretty good. Star Wars. Wait, that doesn't look like much of a markdown. A hundred bucks? Isn't it a hundred dollars normally? Uh, I don't know about that. There's a lot of them here, too. When was it marked down? About a week ago. Got a Spider-Man set here for 70. Oh, man. Look at that Green Goblin. 70 bucks? That's not too bad. More Minecraft sets here. And then we have some little sets marked down. LOL dolls marked down. I don't really care about all that. Let's go over to figure and see what's going on. Where? Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Looks like we got our Multiverse of Madness figures. Whole stack of them here. Got our Movie Joes. DC Land, we have, well, we have Batman. Just armored Batman. We got some more down here. What's that? Hammerhead, two Hammerheads, a bunch of Shrieks, some more got Spider-Man and Mom Waves. Don't see that shipper of Batman anywhere here, but I do see some thrust with some Transformer action. Lando with a little pop blue action. Skeletor, Skelegod. Got some archive figures down here. Are they all Leia? Nah, Leia and Obi-Wan hanging out. We got some Roblox, a couple ETBs, Pokemon, Fortnite over here in Wrestling World. We have Goldberg, we have Lance Archer, we have Top Guys right here, and a freaking course. Of, oh, double. Double your pleasure, double your fun. Otis at the top of the peg. 
Ooh, they do have Sammy though. Oh, his hand is loose. I would have bought that if the hand wasn't loose. God, that annoys me. Inbox guys, can't have those hands messed up. It's an Austin Theory back here. Kevin Owens, I haven't seen Austin Theory yet. On peg. It's a good looking figure. Might be pickup one day. I don't think it's a pickup today. But it's a good looking figure. Let's get him back on the shelf. So Owens will put him back as well. And of course we got our Goldberg and Hardys, but we're good on those. All right, I don't see much. I'll go slide over to the clearance section real quick and then we'll head to Altoona. See if there's anything going on over there. What's up guys? Random question before we start. Do any of you guys have a number that you constantly see when you look at the clock? I have one of those and every time like I arrive at a destination or I see something, I see that number and it's weird. For me, it's 1019. It is 1019 in the morning right now. I'm in Altoona, PA. We're at Target. We're going in, we're looking for toys. Look at that NECA Frankenstein DMNT. It's been avoiding me like crazy. I think today's the day. I have a good feeling. Let's go in. We'll see. All right, guys, we're here. We're in the toy section. I passed the little Jurassic World section. There's a random Lando hanging out. That's how I knew where I was going. That's how I knew where to go. Let's immediately go to Star Wars and wrestling real quick. It's a little end cap right here. We'll revisit that in a second. Over here in wrestling land. Oh, 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 you beautiful, beautiful baby. Look at that carbonized scout trooper. We're gonna get one of those. We're also gonna get a shore trooper. We definitely need these guys. Ooh, my man Sensei Serum actually sent me the other from this set. So it'll be here tomorrow, I hope. And I'll have a complete, which is incredible. Uh, Karshita, Santana, Ortiz. I actually don't see anything in wrestling that I need. Let's go over to Mecha Collectibles real quick and see if that Raph is here. Stoked to have found these though, right off the bat. That was a definite need. Uh, Catwoman from Channel 6. We got our Thanos diorama. We got our Thylog. Have our What If. Have a bunch of stuff I don't care for. Wow, that's it. That's the entire NECA section. Oof. No Raphael for me today. I was hoping. Let me set these down real quick. Let me lay these Star Wars figures down and we'll dig in a little. Let's start down here with Warhammer. Are there any Platinum Edition Warhammers? There are not. Just this one. Over here in Funko Pop Land, we have our Madam Web, we have our Harry Potter, we have our TLC, we have our Dexter's Laboratory, our Cartoon Network, Art Series, Turtles, so one My Hero Academia, but that's really it. They're doing some construction over there on that side of the target. It's very loud. Uh, Super 7, we got our Flash Gordon. I don't really see anything that I need over here. Absolute bummer. Let's have a look at these Witcher toys real quick. See if there's any Platinums in there. They're not. Too many Terrors, we just have Michael Myers. Have a bunch of Redeemers. Redeemer spawn here. All looking pretty good. Some Dr. Fates. Yeah, there's nothing over here. All right, let's go back to action figure land. Let's go over to Marvel and DC and see what's going on over there. Let's get our Star Wars though. We're not leaving these behind. See you over there. All right, over here in action figure land. We got our Tigatron, our Sweep. Have our light up hazmat suit. We got our Drifter Bruce. We got some Swamp Things down here. What do we got going on, Swampy Boy? Just two greens. I've got me a green, I don't need another one. I was hoping there was a Platinum Boy. Power Ranger Lightning Collab. Oh, there is our Paz Vizala. Is that how you say it? Paz Vizal Vizla? Uh, Sensei Serum actually found one of these and sent it to me. It's coming in the mail tomorrow, so I don't need to get another. Paz Vizla. Hang out on the shelf. Uh, over here, we got our Build a Horse. We got our Batman. We got our Armored Batman. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put him where he goes so someone can find him. I don't want him to hang out and someone miss him. Uh, over here we have a Greninja, another Greninja. Still looking for that Rayquaza. Let me go put this back on the shelf real quick. All right, we just dropped him back on the shelf. Hopefully somebody who really wants him can come grab him later. Let's keep looking around. All right, over here on the same cap, we have a ton of Baileys and Cowboy Bobs. We have some Target Con, Red Boba Fetts. Got our Naruto Hello Kitty. 
We've got our Luke Skywalker. We got our Star Wars our Battle Cats. And Fortnite. There's really nothing here on this end cap that I need. Let's keep looking around. We'll check uh, our furniture. We'll look under some panels when we get some time. Let's we'll see if we can't come across any gold here. Maybe there's something. I was walking around and I found this whole Target Con display here. And we've got our TMNT Pop Tees. We got a Mew Boy in good shape. I might pick this one up because this box is not wrecked. We might end up buying this. Bunch of Becky Two Belts. Bunch of Magic Johnsons. There's a whole selection of Target Con here. Very cool find. All right, let's keep going. I saw on that Yuba right there, there's a whole new case of WWE Elites. I'm waiting for her to open that up so that I can see what's in there. Might be something I need. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Check back with you in a few. All right, going around, checking panels that are not covered by stuff. There's really not that many in this building. It's really, really full, but we're checking panels and look what we found under this one. We found a Series 11 Scott Hall. This figure came out, I don't know, over the summer, maybe like August, September, and uh, was pretty hard to find for a week or two. And then it got clearanced out to like six bucks and they all got bought up. And I guess someone stashed one back then, like four or five months ago, and left it here. They must have found another one. Let's see how much he scans for right now. Scott Hall's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. So this is kind of cool for me to find. I don't know why it's on the shelf right now when series 13 is on the shelf, but we'll see. Let's take him over and scan him real quick. All right, let's get the Scott Hall. Let's take him over here real quick. Price not available, discontinued. So this has been under the shelf for, I don't know, probably three, four months since the clearance. I wonder how cheap I can get him if I take him up front. I might go up front and try to bargain for him. It'd be cool to have another one. Throw him in the cart. She's put out a new wave of wrestling. Oh my God, I'm about to go buy it. I saw a Sammy and a Hogan and they are both coming home with me. I'm gonna go over right now. All right, I just saw her put these up here and look at this Hogan. Yep. Yep, definitely gonna grab that. I might grab a Sammy Zane too. Yep, that could be a thing. Let's go ahead and grab that Sammy too. I don't want Sammy to disappear. Let's get that same too. Yep. And that's RVD back there. So we just need Sammy and Hogan. Let's grab those and let's get out of this joint. We're spending way too much money today. Look at all this stuff, guys. Let's go. All right, while we're here, we always check the furniture just in case. I found a few things in this store before in some of the furniture. So I always check because you just never know. Are you freaking kidding me? There's a Squishmallow up here. Is that a rare one, guys? I don't know much about Squishies. 30 $10. Up here in the cabinet. Altoona Target. Altoona, PA. Pennsylvania. I'm going to throw them back up there for now. Just because I don't want to walk back to the Squishmallow area. Let's see what's over here. Nothing over there. Squishmallows and Altoona Target cabinets. Not surprised. All right, let's check the other side of the furniture aisle. Altoona, PA. That doesn't lift. We do have this one here. Of course, there's a Sting and a Shore Trooper. I have this Sting, but I know someone who's looking for one. I might take it. The Shore Trooper, I just picked him up a few minutes ago. I don't need another, so I'll take him back to the shelf. I'm not surprised. We found a Squishmallow over there. We're finding wrestling and Star Wars over here. Some collectors in Altoona, PA. I like to hide stuff at this Target. That's wild. All right, I'm gonna go put the, this on the shelf and take this with me, I think. I need another sting for a friend. Let's go, Altoona PA Target. Find hidden toys. All right, guys, after we're done at Target, we always have to slide over to Walmart. Altoona PA Walmart, down there towards the wind. I had to park a million miles away. They're doing some kind of construction in the parking lot, but we're going in. You guys know where we're going. We're gonna look for some more G.I. Joe's. We're gonna look for more wrestling. We're just gonna keep like some chases, some platinum boys. Whatever see here. We've got like a good clearance section at Walmart too. We'll be there for sure. I'll see you guys on the inside. I was just in the card section of this Walmart looking for AEW cards and I just watched a guy take at least 15, 20 boxes of football and baseball and basketball cards. He must have taken 10 blasters and like three or four hobbies, like the $50 bigger boxes. I don't know what they're called. 
Uh, he just filled up an entire basket with cards. Like, no wonder there's no cards out there. Dude, just clean house. I did grab a Brilliant Stars ETB and a Shining Fates ETB, though. They must have just got a restock, so I'll grab one of each of these. Let's go to the toy section. All right, we're going in here. Let's have a look at Collectible Land first. What we got going on in Funko? We got nothing going on in Funko. DJ Khaled over there. Do you see a Fast and Furious? What is this? I've never seen that before. That looks kind of fun. Uh, some big pops. We got Hawkeye. We have our My Hero stuff. Oof, Garbage Pail Kids. We got our Unmasked. Bunch of turtle stuff over here. It looks like all Oroku Sakis though. Yup, 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 yup. Seven Oroku Sakis. That's too many. That's way too many, Walmart. What you doing? Do you have that Emperor Palpatine mask down there? Have a Deadpool Diary Galarama. It is really hard to do this. Oh, there's eight. Eight Oroku Sakis here. It's really hard to do this while holding two ETBs. Uh, ooh. We got one of those big 89 Batmans. With a spider net on him, of course. Uh, more of those masks. We got some Batman collector's masks down there. And that's honestly it. I don't see too, too much else. I think it's time for us to slide over to Figure Land. It's time to look for the goods. All right, going in here to Figure Land. Immediately hit with that Series 90. We got Jey Uso. We got Bronson Reed. We got Reckoning. Do we have that Chase boss man? Oh, no, it's all Reckoning. Oof. No Chase boss man here. A uh, big old stack of Reckoning, though, with one Bronson Reed. Got some Piggy, got some My Hero, got some He-Man Masters of the Universe, some Fortnite goodies, some more ETBs right there, Sword and Shield. Got Grinder and Ravage. Got some Kongi Boys. Got some Zillas, got some Landos. Star Wars is looking dead besides Lando. None of the new Batman stuff here. We got the Spin Master stuff, but none of the DC Multiverse. The only DC Multiverse I see is the stuff that's been here for ages. I might slide over to the Lego section though. They are unloading a bunch of Lego, so we'll see what they got. We'll see what kind of goods they're playing with over there. Let's go. All right, dropping by this Walmart's clearance section. They've got some Fortnite figs for $15, which is kind of cool. Got some big LOL dolls for 20 bucks. That's a really good deal for those who like LOL. Got G.I. Joe movie figures for 21, not much of a clearance. But this gem down here, look at this. Mega Heat Ray Godzilla for $20. I'm actually gonna buy two of these. Uh, one for my own collection and then one to put online. These things resell for $50 a piece, 20 bucks. I'm gonna grab one for me. I'm gonna sell one to pay for that one. Uh, that's an easy win for me. Definitely coming out. Also got some snowman stuff. Stay away from you, evil snowman. Star Trek model kits for $15. Uh, more Fortnite. And then a few little Lego odds and ends for $6 each, which is kind of cool. Definitely grabbing some Godzillas. That's a real thing. Maybe the Seeker Fortnite figure for 15 bucks. I kind of like the way he looks. Good deal. Let's go. I'll see you guys soon. I'm getting out of this joint. All right, guys. This week was crazy. Every time that I do a hunt, I, I think to myself, I'm just going to get like one or two things. That's all I really need. I only really want that NECA Raph Frankenstein. I don't need anything else. And then somehow I end up with $300 worth of toys every week. <sighs> what is wrong with me? All right. This week's haul is pretty big. So big that it's like spread out across the room. Let me go. Let me go grab what we need real quick. To start things off, we got ourselves a new Mew. The last one I got was a little busted up. This one is not busted up. So, you know, I had to get that good box. Inbox guys know what I mean. Uh, I also picked up some Fortnite figures. Um, they had a couple of them at one of the Walmarts I went to on clearance. So I ended up getting Seeker and I ended up getting Vendetta for $15 each. It's a good price. They're normally $20 each. So I'll take $5 off each one of these. Definite, definite pickup. We also found new carbonized Star Wars while we were out this week. We got ourselves a new Shore Trooper, and we got ourselves a Scouty Boy. Scouty Boy is one of my favorite Star Wars characters in general. I love Scout Troopers, and this one looks phenomenal. Absolutely easy pickup. Shore Trooper as well. Uh, my man Sensei Serum actually sent me the Paz. It should be here today in my P.O. box. I'm excited about that as well. 
a little bit of a wrestling win. We got our Sami Zayn Series 91. We also picked up our Hulk Hogan Series 91 out and about today. So, new wrestling figures for the pile. We also got ourselves that that Funko Shredder Pop and Tee combo in my size. That's a need. Also, on clearance, we picked up one of these Godzillas. Uh, I absolutely love this Godzilla. Check it out. You ready? That's kind of cool for the price. I needed him for certain. Also, while we were out, we ended up finding a sting in one of the furniture sections we checked. So we did pick up that sting. Uh, I'm actually going to be giving away this sting to someone in the comments section. Or a G.I. Joe bat. Whatever you choose. Found another uh, What If Nebula for $9 on clearance. Easy pick up. I'll pick up all the clearance legends I find. I love that price. $9 for a Marvel Legend. The Build-A-Figure piece alone is worth $9. That's a good pick up. And then last but not least, to round out the haul, you know I had to scratch that Pokemon itch as well. So I picked up two ETBs. Got myself a Shining Fates ETB. And we picked up a Brilliant Stars ETB. I don't think I'm going to open these right now. I think they're going to be shelf fodder just for display. And then when I get that, that itch to open cards, I'll have them at my availability. So that's that, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This was another fun hunt. We just toured through Pennsylvania, the southern and southeastern side of PA. Just went through a bunch of places, bought a ton of stuff. Uh, toy room is filling out. It's exploding with toys at this point. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Things are going well over here at the Sleeping Collectibles camp. Uh, follow me over on TikTok at Sleeping Collectibles. Follow me on Twitter at Sleeping YouTube. Uh, like this video, subscribe, comment. If this video breaks 200 likes, I'll be giving away a figure to someone in the comment section. They can choose whether they would like a G.I. Joe bat or a sting. So break this video, 200 likes, and everyone who comments gets entered. It's up to you guys, it's in your hands. If it doesn't break 200 likes, there's no prizes. I like giving away prizes, we have fun with prizes. See you guys soon. Until next time, good night. Sleep tight. I hope all your collecting dreams come true. Later days.